Hello Overgrowth community! This will be a quick guide on how to use the Alternate Camera Expanded mod. To start with, please make sure you are using the correct version of the mod. If you are on the internal testing build of the game, please make sure you have that version of the mod installed. If you are on the stable version of the game, please make sure you have the stable version installed. As I happen to have internal testing, I will enable this mod and we can get started. So all you have to do is to go into the editor mode on any map. So in my case, let's pick this lovely village map. Once you're in the editor mode, you'll notice that there is a mods menu up at the top right here. Click on that. You can choose alternate camera settings, and then you can choose between different presets, or you can select a custom preset. I will quickly go through the different presets. So this is classic alternate camera. <coughs> the camera is a little bit off to the side. The view is a little further back. This is the camera mod that um, alternate camera originally was. <coughs> Then we have classic alternate camera, but more centered. So this is the exact same thing, except that the view is just a little bit more towards the center for people who find that a little bit too disorienting. <coughs> Below that is the vanilla settings. So in this mod, you can, if you like, go back to the vanilla version of the camera. And as you can see, it's a lot more closer to the character looks very different. Below that is responsive. This is my favorite setting. Uh, it's actually not incredibly interesting. It doesn't have a lot of motion or anything, but it's very snappy to control and allows you a lot of uh, a lot of control over your motions in the game. <coughs> Beneath responsive is dynamic. So dynamic focuses a lot on the motion. So when you jump, the character, the camera will lurch a little bit. When you hit the ground, it'll bounce. When you crouch, you go way down. When you go into a ragdoll mode, you stay down. It's a very active camera that really makes you feel like you're immersed in the motion of the world. <coughs> And next we have cinematic. So the cinematic camera, it might not be easy to tell from this video here, but it's a lot smoother. So when you move the mouse, uh, everything kind of glides into place. Uh, in addition, it's a little bit offset, as you can see when I move the camera around. And uh, in general, it just has a much smoother, uh, more cinematic feel. <coughs> Next we have strategic. This is a bit of an extreme setting. Here the camera doesn't move that much. In fact, it barely moves at all in terms of um, dipping down or anything like that. But it's really, really far back so you can have a wide overview of the map. Not personally something I would use, but I can think of a number of people who would be, uh, who would quite enjoy to use this camera. <coughs> And finally, we have Challenging. Now, this is not a preset you'll probably want to use most of the time. As you can see, it's purposefully been made incredibly difficult to play with. But if you want a fun sort of challenge, and you want to try to get into a fight where you can barely see the other enemy, and, uh, you know, just generally have a horrible time, go ahead and click on this preset, and, uh try to survive. The camera drags quite a bit. It's just very, very hard to see what you're doing. Uh, just, in general, an absolutely horrible experience and purposely designed to be that way. If you don't like any of the presets or you just want to tweak one, select the preset you want. So let's say we're starting from vanilla and you just want to make some changes to the vanilla camera. 
and then go to custom preset. And now you will have access to all the camera variables. Now, uh, please try not to go too extreme with some of these. If you set, in particular, if you set this one above one, or at uh, above one will just straight up crash the game, and at one the camera will not turn. Um, but yeah, experiment with these and see what your personal preferences are. As you can see, quite a lot of options, and uh, you can basically turn the camera, make the camera act however you want it to act. Many thanks to Constance for the original mod, alternate camera. Uh, all I did was add the, the um, menu and uh, package it up a little bit differently. <clears throat> Hopefully you find this mod useful, and uh, yeah, I hope it becomes part of your regular install for many years to come. Until next time, I will see you later.